Hello Internet. Today we are going to be doing a tutorial on cloud simulation. This tutorial was requested from, by a subscriber of mine, and the comment goes, "Hey, can you please do a cloud simulation video on a character? Everybody does the boring cloud simulation, but never of a one cloud being simulated." So that's what we're going to be treating today. So quickly, I set up a scene. We have a ground plane because when you are creating closed simulation, two things are involved. We have the cloth itself and the collision objects in the scene. So the cloth is what we are going to simulate, and the collision object is what the cloth would, would would collide with. Let me put it that way. Okay, so let's get started. Now I set up a cloth with a box object. I just cut it through and try to shape it with my character. This character is a biped. So what I did quickly was set up a biped character just go to create and systems then you see biped right there so right here so now another thing I did was aside from the ground plane was add I added an animation to the biped character and how to do that is in a I have a tutorial on adding mocap data to biped character it's in my tutorial playlist so you just check it out okay so let me just play that through so you see what we are working with so before you can simulate a cloth, you need to like have an animation or you can maybe you are working with steels, but for this one we are working with motion, so I added the mocap data to it. So the link will be down there, you see the link, so you can just go and watch that too. So let's get started. On the cloth, what I'll do is I'm gonna go to my modify panel and add a cloth modifier. Then the moment I do that, the first thing I always do is go to my object properties then the cloth is our cloth on the box 001 is our cloth so i'll set that to cloth you can see right here we have before by default it will be on inactive so you select cloth then you select the preset we have different presets here so i'll do um, a cutting then now for our collision object the first thing we want the cloth to collide with is the biped itself but the thing about this biped it's, it contains a lot of joints so we're going to select everything i'm going to add a uh, the biped as a collision object or the bones because the the rope is quite long so So the biped has been added. Now another thing I want to add to the collision object is the ground plane. So I'll click the ground plane. So I'll select the box. Okay, the box already been set to cloth. I did that before. So I'll select the bipeds and the plane, and I'll make that instead of having it as an active, I'll set that as the collision object. And I'll just crop to a green so collision object. And okay, you can see that now. So I'll click OK. And now the first thing I always do is before I click, let me explain this place a bit. So this is where we just left now. That's the object properties. That's where you set your object and you want to set your collision as well. So that's it for that. So you can see we still have this as the collision object. I'm just go through. So the cloud forces. This is if you are having a wind in the scene. But I'll treat this in later tutorials, but not right now. Okay, so I'll move to simulate local. This is what I usually use. For, for the first simulation so first of all what you want to do is you want your cloth to rest with your character so it doesn't just jump to the next frame so first of all this this is the simulate local this just simulates your cloth and let it rest on the character but this actually simulates it with the animation you can see you can set the progress so you can switch off the switches off or on so you can also use simulate local damped I usually use this one if um, I'm working with garment maker but right now I just go with simulate local and you can see the moment I do that you can see what's happening in the scene it's just rest the, um, the cloth on the character and it's actually forming the shape and all so after that what I'll do is uh, I'll switch that off so I'm okay with this with this uh, effect so now if I play the animation you can see the character just moves out of the cloth and staggers off the screen let me frame my my um, shot properly. 
okay so now I want to go back and I want the clock to follow the character that's the aim of this tutorial so what I'll do is I'll just click on simulate hmm? By the, so I'll just click on that and it will do its calculation you can see it right here so we have to wait for it to be done so I'll pause this video and okay so I'm back um, I guess I could see some glitches right there because that's one of the things you get when you simulate so it's a it's a lot of back and forth if you really want to achieve a, a, a great a great effect so now I'm just gonna play what we just achieved okay you can see the cloth is dripping nicely over the character and okay so there are some other settings we can adjust to get a perfect simulation so but first of all what I want to address is the issue of the clots colliding with the feet and it's just it's messy down there so what I'll do is I'll go to my object properties and select my cloth my offset okay I'll just select all my bipeds and adjust the offset I think I should set this to 1.5 I just set this to 1.5 then on the cloth leave that there playing 1.5 okay so I'm gonna reset the previous simulation I'll do that again I just let it simulate to this point then I'll stop it because I don't want it to touch his leg so I'll, I'll now simulate again see what happens and before that there is also something I do here, okay. Can I just do but I'll just I'll just I'll make it as simple as possible in this tutorial so just simulate again. Okay, so now that that's done you can see the way we quickly corrected the glitch we had before on the fits. So now I'm gonna restart this view because I kinda like this shot so now I'm gonna play this again. Because I adjusted the the offset, that that just um, it does it, it will make it bind totally to the body. So but before you can before you simulate your clothes, it's always good to make it look as close as possible. But this is just a demonstration, a simple demonstration. So I'm good with the result and I hope you guys have learned something. So before that, um before I end this video, I would like to show you how to how to save these as. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just bake this into the cloth. I'll bake these keyframes into the cloth. So I'll just go ahead and create keys. Before that, I'll set it to zero. Just go ahead and create keys. It's gonna pop up like warning. Cannot undo. Are you sure? I'll go right. Yes. So. It just bakes everything for me so I can go ahead and delete the cloth modifier. So so I'll shift this back to frame zero. Okay, frame one. Let's close to frame zero. So you can see we have this mesh without the cloth modifier and it still works. So that's how to get um, the cloth modifier, the whole thing done in. So for this, you can go ahead. For your cloth, you can just add a relax modifier, so it looks smoother. You can adjust the iterations, but don't make it too much because of your CPU. So you can add a shell modifier. So that will just give it some thickness. So you can reduce that a bit. So doesn't look too at times I had a turbo smooth ball let me switch off the relax that can just replace the turbo smooth okay so I just add a turbo smooth makes it look smoother and gives it this nice feel but this we had um, definitely rats your render time depending on your computer so that's how to get close simulation done I've done a couple of close simulation like in my short film third power animation I did close simulation for the character all through the short film and 
and I'm so sorry I've not been releasing tutorials lately. It's uh, because I've been working on my new game. So when it's out, I'll let you guys know. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, and I hope you learn something. So internet, bye for now. And if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, subscribe so you can be one of the first people to get these videos.